hey guys welcome to the channel hope you are doing well guys in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how to cut any image or any photo on your laptop or your pc using adobe illustrator vetric and ugs i will be taking you the steps of generating the g codes how to cut and, and how to, to create the root parts for the for the image using vetric and how to cut it using ugs which is the software i'm using to, to control my CNC. This CNC machine you see here, I made it myself in the channel. So if you wanna see how I made this machine in this channel, just head to the video in the, the video link in the description and you'll be able to see how I made these CNC machines. And if you wanna stay tuned for more video and upcoming video, electronics projects videos, and other videos, 3D print videos, just click that subscribe button and make sure the bell icon is enabled though so that you won't miss out any any next corner i'll be uploading you will be notified so here in adobe illustrator just you don't need to create a new worksheet i have created a hundred by hundred worksheet and after that you need to export i mean you need to import the photo from your from your pc where you are, you have been located maybe where you located your photo you just need to import it to the worksheet you just created after that you need to dimension the photo up to the dimension you just to dimension you, you need according to your decision or according to your desire mine is 100 by 100 millimeters so after that click on object and click on image trace After that, you need to export the photo as DWG file. Make sure you export as DWG file. So after that, export as DWG file. After that, you open Vetric Aspire. I mean Aspire. You open it. You open Aspire so that we can generate the root the paths. Now here on Aspire, you need to open the file you just created using your Adobe Illustrator. It downloads from a done file. Done file. Open. Here it is a worksheet. Here you just need to calibrate your work, your job size, your thickness. You see here it's wing height thickness and make sure you select millimeter i like using millimeters because millimeters are easy to use than hinges but it's it just according to you it just got you here you maybe it's where you just see everything you see the homey it also send the homing place of your machine depends on how place of your machine mine homes at the bottom corner so that's it after that you need to select all the work you just created and head to tool parts get the profile after you need to select the tool here get the cut depth you need to calibrate it here i'm just using three millimeter so after that you need to select the tool you are using here on tools you need to use the cutter not just a vb that i use the vb because I'm just using it to show you how to cut using the CNC, but I should be using a cutter or a end mill bit. So after that, click calculate. After click, click, click calculate, you just need to you can simulate it here, simulate the root, the root parts, the path after that you save the path you save you give it a name and you click save make sure you select not here make sure you select is g code millimeter dot tap file g code dot tap file and you make sure it's only millimeter because you had selected millimeter there 
after that you need to open UGS Universal G Code Center. After that you need to open Universal G Code Center and open the file you just created from the Vertric Aspire software. So you open the test file I just created with you seen Aspire. Yeah, the test file here. You click open. And after that you click connect here no 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 and after that you click connect so that you will be connected to your machine so for cutting purposes and 